Wednesday to you. Today we are revisiting the blooming lamp, which I have here. And so if you're new to my channel, sometime after Christmas, usually after Christmas, I jump right into spring because out here in Virginia, it is cold. There is usually snow on the ground on and off, but it's, it's, it's just chilly and it's cold and it's gray. And during that season, if you will, this girl needs some color. It's just too depressing to be gray every day. You gotta have some little, you gotta have some color, right? So I, I did this blooming lamp sort of to kick off my spring season, but I can't take credit for this idea because back in my blogging days, there was a girl, her name was Kara, and the name of her blog was Elements Interiors. She's not, I don't think she's doing it anymore, but she was an, a fabulous decorator and she had the most brilliant ideas and this is her idea. So I just took it and I've made it my own. Uh, but anyway, you basically just get a container of choice. You get a lamp of choice. You get your greenery or garland of choice and you build on that. You basically throw every, you put your lamp in the container put your greenery, then it's all about layering. It's all about layering again. And you can add different elements, different flowers, different bushes, different shrubs, shrubby looking things to make a blooming lamp. And so when you turn your lamp on, basically all everything that's under the light pretty much glows. And it's just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And I have had so many people, and I mean so many people ask me, Liz, are you gonna do a fall blooming lamp? And I thought, you know what, yeah, we, yes, yes, let's do a fall blooming lamp. We gotta, we gotta get rid of the spring and bring the fall. So that's what we're doing today, guys. So join me. All right, so I just ran to Hobby Lobby and you guys, my Hobby Lobby is completely picked over for fall. It was slim pickings for florals. Um, you know, in the fall section where it's 40% off, holy smokes. I, this is, well, I won't get into it, but I, I couldn't believe it. It's like somebody ransacked the place. It, they just ransacked the joint. And there was, there wasn't much to pick from. So this is really all I got. Um, because you guys saw me do the hanging ladder, which I have lots of oranges and mauves and beiges and greens and browns. So that's kind of what I'm doing here, but I might add some yellow up there because I kind of want to add some yellow and orange together. So this is, this is my thought. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got a bunch of these. This, this is it. This is all I got because this is all they had. So I got nine, nine of these. And some of them weren't even in the best condition. Look at that, look at that. Who puts that on the shelf? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not really, but anyway, I got these. And then um, my daughters went shopping for me a few weeks ago and they got me a bunch of these. And thank the Lord they did that for me because otherwise I wouldn't have much to choose from. And then I've got a bunch of these. So this is kind of my thought. I don't know if these are gonna work in there, but we're gonna find out because we're gonna do it together. This is kind of the look I'm going for. All right, let's get started. So I wanna show you what I currently have, and I may use some of these pieces in with what I just showed you. Basically, I have this container. I got this one at Hobby Lobby for, I think, 13 bucks. Um, go in, if you guys need a container, go in their container section, you can get, well, first of all, no. I take that back. First of all, find a lamp. Then, I don't know, take your lamp with you and go find a container, whether it's in your house or somewhere else or draw, like get a piece of paper and draw your, your lamp base on a, on a piece of paper so that when you go try to find a container, you can know whether or not that lamp base is going to fit into that container. Um, so hold on a second. I'm going to disassemble this. Well, um, you guys might want to watch. Okay, here we go. 
I'm taking this beautiful piece apart. Like, you know, I might use these. I just kind of like little pops of whitish gray pieces in with my stuff. But um, it's really easy to make and it really makes a statement piece, you know, or it's actually a good conversation piece too because when I have people over, they're like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Where did you get that? And I'm like, I made it. It's super, super simple, and um, anybody can. If I can do it, anybody can. And a lot of this stuff you may already have in your home, you know, so you may not even have to go shopping. But let me show you what I did. Oh, what the heck, I'll make a mess and I'll take it out because I want people who haven't seen this to be able to know how to make one. Um, oh, like I said, this is gonna make a big old mess. Okay, this was my idea, guys, when I made this in the spring. Sorry, I just want you guys to see the process. So, here's the base. I mean, this is my container, right? And I wanted to make sure that this, I also got these lamps on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I wanted to make sure these would fit in the container, which it does, because this base fits right in. So you put it in, and then you take your cord and you just put it right out the back, like that, so you'll be able to plug it in. Hold on, I'm gonna dump this stuff out. I'm making a big old mess. Um, anyway. You get your lamp situated in there. Let me show you what it looks like once I have the base in. Okay, so this is what it looks like once my lamp base is in my container. And you can see it fits perfectly in there and then you just run the cord out. That's it. And you're done. Next up, I got this also at Hobby Lobby. It's just like filler material. And when I got this, my idea was I wanted it to look like dirt, you know, like in a pot, like when you're gonna plant something. It was just a little idea I had, but it actually worked to my benefit because once I started sticking my floral pieces in, it almost acted like styrofoam, kind of a, it, it held my stuff in nice, as snug as a bug in a rug, if you will. So that's why I'm using it again. But then I also got this garland at Hobby Lobby and I snipped it in half. I snipped this in half. So I did half, half around this one. So you can see this is, this I just threw right in there. And now all I'm gonna do is take my greenery and run it around. And I want this kind of to come out. And guys, I'm just telling you, it will get messy, but I promise you it'll be worth it in the end. So I want to give, I want this to look kind of substantial, like poofy and anyway, this is kind of how it looks right now. All right, and now it's just a matter of adding our florals in and we will be done. It's that simple. Now, like I always say, when you get a floral pick like this, you wanna take a little sec, couple seconds just to fluff it, to kind of poof it out and make it look more substantial looking so you can use less of these. If you just, if you just put it in like this, see how this is? See how this is? You're gonna end up using a lot more of these if you don't fluff them out. Okay, I got all the sticker saws, but aren't these pretty? They're so pretty for fall. And anyone who doesn't like pops of orange for fall. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? It's beautiful. Okay, let's start playing with this arrangement. So basically I just start inserting the flowers where I think they'll be pretty and I'm just gonna work my way around. I was thinking of doing just three, 
to keep it simple and then adding to it. I don't know. Maybe I should start adding some of these. These are really pretty too. Hobby Lobby, as I mentioned. I like these because they have the little, almost looks like a corn stalk kind of a thing. Maybe I'll do three of these in this Insert those in between. Yep, I love it. Oh, I hope I have enough of these. Oh, yay. I think I do. My daughters went, they did a covert operation for me. It was called HL Undercover, Hobby Lobby Undercover. And they went there and they did some shopping for me. And we did a little FT call, FaceTime, you know. And they went up and down the aisles. And I was like, oh, yeah, go down that aisle. Okay, girls, go down that aisle, make a left. Go down the next aisle, make a right. And then FaceTime me again. And then they go, Mom, we're down this aisle. And then they would show me some of them. I, I would say, yeah, yeah, get that. Get a couple of those and a couple of those. So they got me actually more than I would have spent. But I was like, hey, guess I've got some stuff for fall. And then I was sure to say, shh, don't tell your father. This is just between you and me. It's our little covert op, got it? And they were like, crystal mom. And I was like, I'm like, okay, go, go, shh. Are any of you like that? You gotta keep it on the low down with the hubs. Y'all know I'm, I, there's going to be some that are going to say, you're so manipulative. You're so mean. How could you be like that with your husband? I'm being humorous. Sort of. At least I'm keeping it honest and real with, with y'all. And Hubs, he knows me. He'll say, Liz, did you spend any money today? And I'll be like, um, did I, uh, and he's like, you did. I, you don't even have to say anything. And I'm like, I know. Yeah, yeah, I kind of did. And I'm like, did you spend money? Did you buy any audio equipment? And then it zips him right up. He's like, see, you got to know how to play the game, ladies and gents. You just got to play the game. Just kidding. What did they put in my coffee this morning? I'll tell you. I'm a little rambunctious today. Yes, I am. Maybe it's, it's the heat. I'm just gonna blame it on the heat, you guys. It is miserably hot outside. Uh, this is just, it's ridiculous. Last night, we had a huge, huge severe thunderstorm and it was, it was kind of scary. It was kind of scary and the wind was so incredibly strong. It almost blew my big, huge, heavy lantern right off the table. So I have two different types. These almost look like a pear and this looks like a pumpkin. And so I, now that I've got my base, I've got the brown on the bottom to kind of mimic dirt. Then I've got this to kind of mimic shrubs. And now I kind of want to put this in. I just think this will add that elegant touch. So I might just kind of like stick a few in here. Actually, I think that looks really pretty. I am loving that. Love, love, loving it. Oh, I so am loving this. Oh my goodness. Y'all have to do this. So pretty. Like I said, even fluff these out a little bit because it gives it more
When I was at Hobby Lobby, they had lots of these today. But I already knew I had enough of these, so. Oh, I am so loving this arrangement. It's not even funny. This is gonna look so pretty and elegant here in the dining room. And then when the light is on, it's gonna just, it's gonna say autumn. It's gonna say fall. Seriously, isn't that pretty? Well, hmm. There, I love this. Oh my gosh. It turned out pretty, guys. Oh, how I am loving this. I am love, love, loving it. You know what? It's different, it's beautiful, and it's unique. And when you add those three together, you've got a winner. You got a winner. So I'm gonna take this over here, I'm gonna plug it in, and then I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna do the other one. Cause I've got two, they're kind of like buffet lamps to me, is how I'm using them. So hold on. done my full decorating in here yet on this table so you're only seeing like I need to switch out those you're only seeing the lamp decorated for fall but when you come up here look how pretty it lights up all the flowers and um, I just love it goes with my rooster picture love 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 Boy, are these, they're actually really fun to make and the impact is so, woo, you'll love it. I hope you guys try them out. If you do, let me know how yours turned out. Would love to know. So guys, I wanna share with you something I just got on Amazon cause it looks gorgeous. Check it out. It's a, it's a beautiful wreath. Okay, here it comes. Now, it, it definitely needs a fluffing. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Let me fluff it out a little bit. This is really pretty. Look at the colors and the little pumpkins. I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to fluff it because it was all smushed in a box, but I think the quality is really good. And, um, let me fluff it just a sec. I want to make sure, I, I only like to recommend things that I love. So, so far I'm loving it. I just want to give it a good fluff. Oh, it is beautiful, actually. Look how pretty this is. Love it. Anyway, if you like and you're looking for a pumpkin wreath, this is a pretty one. Look at the berries and the little leaves and I don't know, it's super pretty. I love the color palette on this one. It's, um, I think it looks really elegant. Love it. Anyway, I will link it below in case any of you would like it, but hmm. Mr. Rooster needs to be decorated for fall. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But those flowers have to go. So, 
we need to get on this and we need to decorate this room, but I just don't know if I want to do it today. This mama's a little pooped. And I'll, if the truth be now, this heat, this heat out here is insane. It's insane. So yeah, I'm a little hot and I'm a little tired today. So anyway, what else can I show you? Okay, guys, I know what I can share with you. So be on the lookout. I don't know what day I'm going to do this. I'm hoping I pull it out tomorrow. And if I do, hopefully I will have something to share Thursday or Friday. No, probably Friday. Yeah, Friday for sure. Or coming next Monday. Somebody, a couple of my subscribers recommended that I take out my 12 foot tree, place it in my foyer and decorate an autumn tree. Now guys, I have never done a 12 foot tree autumn tree, okay? So it, it got me thinking, I'm like, well, goodness gracious, I don't even have enough ornaments to do a, a 12 foot fall tree. What would I do? What would that look like? So I ran over to Hobby Lobby and I thought, you know what, I'll just grab a few ornaments and I was hoping it might get the wheels turning, so to speak. So anyway, I got a couple of the same ornaments because I'm going to put them all, you know, 12 foot tree is huge. And mine is like, it's not a pencil tree. It is a big fat tree, big 12 foot fat tree. So I'm going to need a lot of stuff on it. So anyway, I found this. It was really cute. It says, hello, fall. Love the color. It's like green is my favorite color. And then I got this one and it says, hello, pumpkin. Super cute. I got another Hello Fall, and then I got uh, this Hello Fall. I thought it was pretty. And then I got this one that says Gather. And then I got a little football for football season. Got a bunch of cheerleaders over here, so gotta have a football. And then I got an owl. Isn't he cute? Look at those eyes. Got a little owl. And then I got two of these birds. And look at their glittery. Aren't they pretty? Got two of them. And then I got these. They only had four, so I grabbed them. I'm telling you, the ho my Hobby Lobby was depleted today, big time. I was like, somebody call in the truck, bring the decor quick. But I got these different pine cones. I thought those were cute. I got some more of this ribbon for my tree. And by the way, I got the last one. I was like, really? That's not gonna do a 12 foot tree. So I do have two other rolls. So fingers crossed I can work my magic and do something with it. And then I forgot what else I got in this bag. Oh yeah, I got a squirrel. Squirrel! And guys, if you're like me and you like to, <clears throat> pardon me, you like to display fall plates around your house for the fall season, stock up on these. For some reason, I always run out of these. So these were 50% off this week. So regular price is $3.99 and I got 50% off of all these. So you can get the brass color black, you can get wood, the wood color, but I like black just because it, I just like black. <clears throat> the brass ones sometimes, um, sometimes they don't look right with my plates unless they're dressier looking plates. So I just opted for the black. Um, and what, what else can I show you that I got? Oh, I did get some more Amazon stuff, hold on. In going with my Tuscan theme, I saw these on, Amazon and I was like, oh, I have to have those. Have to, have to, have to have them. So check out what I got. I got this canister. Actually, it's, look how many of them I got. It's like a set. And um, I was expecting these to come in a huge box, but they packaged them really well. And by the way, when I pulled them out of the packaging, it smelled so good. I was like, I don't know why I was like, what, what did they put these with? Because they smelled super good. Um, but they basically had these all stacked in here. They had the lid separate. And so when you get these, you'll have to see, I'll just show you. 
when you get these packaged, all the canisters are in are in here together. They're all stacked in there, and then the lids are all separate, kind of stacked like this together. And then they have a little bag full of the fleur de lis and this little screw. And it's so easy, you guys. When you get these, if you like them, you just take this. Actually, what did I do? So I take this, stick this little screw here, just like that, hold it, and then you screw the fleur de lis right on. Easy, easy peasy. And now it's on super tight. And it goes right on here. Oh, by the way, these have like a nice rubber tight seal. And look how cute these are. Perfect for fall. Can you imagine? Hmm. I guess I used all of those. Well, those pears with the leaves on them. Can you imagine these all kind of like together in a grouping with some of that fall foliage? And maybe like a little bird, a little bird in with the, the fall foliage. That'd be a pretty display. Or these little birds um, with some fall foliage. You know those like little candles, candle uh, rings that look like a wreath that you put around um, your candles? You could set the bird on one of those on your candle holder and then put these next to this display. How cute would that be for fall? Or here's another idea with these canisters. You could you could do um, a really neat display using your fall foliage, and then you know set the squirrel, set a squirrel next to it or something like that with a big giant wooden acorn. How cute would that be? Anyway, I'm in love with these, and I'm so glad I made the purchase. Um, they're very good quality. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Um, so anyway, if you guys like these, these are perfect for fall. Look at the colors. Look at the detail. Great quality. And uh, anyway, I will link those in my Amazon store as well. All right, guys. Well, this is going to wrap up this little video today. Come back and see me Friday. I don't know where we're going to be decorating. I don't know if we'll be, de you know, decorating this. Oh, wait. You know what? There's one more Amazon thing. Hold on. Okay, guys. Let's open this together. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. And I don't know why, but it took a little bit longer than I expected. But I have to tell you, I think if I remember correctly, Arlen hauled this. And I remember before she hauled it, I had been eyeballing this for quite some time. And then I couldn't find it. I had a heck of a time finding it again. Um, and then I found it. So Arlen, you'll have to tell me, did you get this one? I just love, I saw it and I loved it. And then she reminded me, oh, you gotta go on Amazon, you gotta get that. So look it. Isn't that pretty? It's from Glitz Home. And uh, yeah, anyway. I was thinking I could do something fun with this for fall and I got the largest one, but I think this is great for any tabletop or you know what? Look how cute what this would be. I could do a display with Mr. Mr. Uh, Squirrel here. And then I could put some fall foliage underneath him. How cute would that be for a fall display? Or you could do something like Arlen always does on the top and you could do a bow, you could drape greenery, you could do all sorts of stuff, but y'all know I'm bow challenge. So most likely that's not gonna happen. But uh, anyway, I could put an LED, ca LED candle. Most likely I'm gonna put some pretty foliage under here and do some pretty display, but I love this. I love this. By the way, I'm looking at my ladder, my hanging ladder here. If I wanted to go more rustic, I could actually take down my chandelier, I could hang this in its place with a beautiful LED candle on a timer. I could do that too. I could. Maybe, you know, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll do that in my basement on my six foot hanging ladder because we still have that to decorate. And that's going to be different than this one. That one's got the real 
loop-de-loops um, grapevine around it and I've got to get full fall foliage and garlands for that so but this will be pretty as my chandelier I might do that so anyway hope you guys like it and uh, anyway I'll link that in my Amazon store too like I said when I find something good I link it because uh, I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. It is too hot. It's just too hot. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Got to wrap this one up. All right, guys, I will see you Friday, and we'll be back to some more decorating. It's either going to be the dining room, and we're going to put all the finishing touches in here. It may be my 12-foot tree if I can get hubs to uh, hubby to help bring it up. It's just super, super heavy. Um, and help me get it put together because it's so tall. I don't want to fall off the ladder. And, uh, or we might do my home office. I don't know. There's so much to do. So I will see you then, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. You know what? I got a question for you guys. Okay? This is a beauty question. I absolutely hate getting my hair done. And if I showed you the pictures of how girls are doing my hair out here, you would die. You would die. In fact, I might insert some because it's just... It's highway robbery, what they're doing out here. They don't do your hair right. They they tell you you're getting full highlights and then you go and you separate your hair, you know, and you're like, oh, you're like, oh my gosh, look at this huge patch they miss. It's it's just insane. So I just, I dread it. And it like, like I said, it takes them four, five, six hours to do my hair. My hair's not even that long. I am so tired of going to the hairdresser I might go get a box of hair color and go all brown. What do you guys think? Should I stay blonde or should I go El Natural? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Blonde or brunette? And it's kind of funny because every time I go to a hairdresser, they're like, you should go all brunette. And I'm like, really? Okay. And a couple times I've done it. And I said, but you know what? Everybody always says I look better as a blonde. And they're like, oh no, you would look much better better with your natural color and then the second they start blow drying my hair they're like you know what and I'm like what they're like you do look better with blonde hair I'm like I know I told you I told you so I just I'm so sick of the roots and if I go all brown it will it be easier I don't know I don't know what do y'all think okay guys I'll see you Friday Mwah! love you guys